hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion with biomedical instrumentation so far we have discussed about micro electrodes and about uh, electrode jellies and creams their resistivity and conductivity so in this video we are going to uh, start a new uh, section we can say uh, in this uh, subject which is an important one and uh, the most important contribution of electrical and electronics engineering to the field of medicine. So this is about the physiological transducers. Now we have already uh, discussed about transducers in the sensors, transducers and instrumentation section. We can check out the that playlist we have posted around 30 videos related to this concept more than 30 or yeah that many videos so I would like you I would request you to please watch those videos first covering the basic concepts related to uh, the measurement sensing transduction all of that signal conditioning and then come and watch this so that you have a good understanding good grasp of things okay so physiological transducers so uh, why I said it is the most important contribution because till now what we have all discussed the measurement of biomedical signals the measurement of ECG about heart activity about brain activity electroencephalogram about the muscle activity electromyogram whatever signal respiration heart rate uh, body temperature we have all discussed about that in general but these physiological transducers help in doing that to achieve the end result okay so let us go in a systematic way in a quick way we'll discuss uh, what is a transducer so transducers are devices which essentially perform energy conversion that is at the input they are fed given with one type of energy and they convert it into another form at the output essentially as we are in the electrical field the output should be in electrical form so that it is easier for further uh, analysis for further conditioning for easier comprehension with the help of electrical instruments so we can say that electrical transducers convert non-electrical form of energy into electrical form non-electrical means it can be physical it can be mechanical it can be chemical it can be optical it can be whatever form we have to convert it into voltage or current form electrical form at the output so that it is easier to process it study it analyze it and to do whatever with it for diagnostic purposes so this is the layout of a basic uh, biomedical measurement system we have the body parameters the measurement which can be anything body temperature pressure heart rate pulse rate respiration rate whatever blood flow rate anything that is the parameter which is to be measured it is measured with the help of suitably placed transducers or sensors then the output of the sensor transducer is given to the signal conditioner block which performs amplification, filtering of noise signals, frequency response adjustment, providing power or energy to the passive transducers, linearization of the output. We will discuss about that in the upcoming videos. So and then it is given to the output which can be used for various purposes for display, for storage, for setting up alarm. And everything and then all of these blocks are supplied with the power supply circuit so the basic examples of transducers can be for body temperature measurement we can use RTDs resistance temperature detector thermistor thermocouple we have already discussed about these transducers in the sensors transducers section you can check these transducers there study about them then we can use we can use a strain gauge, bellows, bottom tube for force and pressure measurement. Uh, we can use LVDT, potentiometer, for
for displacement measurement etc. Okay. Now, uh, the transducers they are used for uh, biomedical measurements for various physiological parameters. Okay, various uh, vital signs or uh, which 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 give us information about the condition of a patient. Okay, whether he is in normal state or not. There are various parameters which give us information about that. Commonly, uh, uh, common vital parameters or physiological parameters of diagnostic significance, they are body temperature, uh, respiration rate, blood pressure, heart rate, blood flow rate. All of these are monitored and evaluated by the doctor or uh, or when he or she refers us to a diagnostic center to get us tested for various uh, physiological parameters, they measure these parameters and when uh, the behavior of all these parameters are monitored or they are tested, it gives us information whether we are behaving in a normal way or not. So there is a normal range uh, within which these parameters should be so that our uh, it, it gives us information that our body is working in the right way. So they are helpful in the identification or diagnosis of a medical condition or anomaly and once that anomaly or medical condition is detected to monitor it with the help of these parameters and then uh, the treatment to monitor the how the body is responding to the treatment and the rehab rehab rehabilitation okay so for all these purposes biomedical measurement is very essential and for biomedical measurement the first and the most important requirement is the transducer the sensor so the physiological transducers or we can say transducers in general they can be classified into three categories okay the first category we can classify them on the basis of the need for external excitation so what i mean by this is that whether they require an external power source or not or whether they are self generating time they generate their own voltage okay we'll discuss about that then on the basis of the specific properties they use for uh, producing the output okay we'll discuss about that too and they are used uh, on the basis of the measurement of specific physiological parameter okay so first is the need for external excitation and uh, on the basis of this we can again classify it into two types first active transducer second pass passive transducers so active transducers they do not require an external power source an external voltage source for their operation they are self generating type it means they generate their own output potential output voltage example of which is thermocouple thermocouple uh, responds to change in temperature it has two junctions hot junction and cold junction so the hot junction is basically the measurement junction which is connected to the point where the temperature is to be measured and the cold junction or the reference junction is normally kept in an ice bath at a constant temperature of 0 degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin and uh, it responds to change in uh, the uh, temperature difference with, a, with an equivalent potential difference. So it generates its own potential. Piezoelectric transducer, they respond to pressure or force applied perpendicular to this piezoelectric crystal and uh, when it happens, deformation occurs which produces an electric potential across its end. Photovoltaic cell similarly responds to optical radiation and generate uh, an electric potential so they generate their own electric potential they do not require an external power source passive transducers on the other hand require an external voltage source they are not self generating example of which is rtd rtd responds to temperature 
change with a resistance change change in resistance now how can we how can we know that a resistor the resistance of a material is changing we cannot know only we can only know whether a resistance is changing in an indirect way okay we connect that uh, material across a voltage source constant voltage source we measure the current with the help of the ammeter so when there is a change in the resistance there will be a corresponding change in the current as per ohm's law so only when we connect it across a voltage source an external voltage source or power source we can get to know whether resistance is changing but other than that we cannot know it by itself that whether the resistance is changing or not okay we require an external voltage source and on the basis of change in current or voltage if we supply a known current we can get to know whether resistance is changing or not so ohm's law comes into play for ohm's law we require three parameters voltage current and resistance and we can determine one parameter when we know two of the other thermistor same thing responds to temperature difference with resistance change strain gauge responds to uh, force or pressure with change in uh, resistance so all of these will require external voltage source next is on the basis of specific properties used so uh, um, here the transducers can can be classified on the basis of various properties they used for their operation for example rtd and thermistor they respond to change in temperature with change in resistance so they are variable resistance transducers photodiode photovoltaic cell they respond to optical radiations they convert optical light signals into electrical signals so they are optoelectronic transducers so they belong to this category this class of transducers optoelectronic here they are variable resistance because they exhibit change in resistance then capacitive hygrometer hygrometer is used for measurement of moisture levels so um, they respond with change in capacitance so they are capacitive transducers so some specific properties are involved here resistance opto electronic properties and here the capacitive properties so the names are associated with respect to that next is the measurement of specific physiological parameters for example uh suppose we uh, classify it as uh, the, uh, in this way rtd thermistor thermocouple what do they have in common they are used for measurement of temperature they respond to change in temperature okay so they are temperature sensors or temperature transducers strain gauge bellows bond tube they are used for measurement of force or pressure so they are force or pressure transducers lvdt potentiometer they are used for measurement of movement motion displacement so they are displacement transducers their their operating mechanisms may be different okay the way they sense the parameter that that may be different but they essentially are used for the same purpose so that's why on the basis of this we can classify them into single category okay so now the commonly used transducers for biomedical measurements we will be discussing about them in detail all of this there are a lot more of other transducers which are used for biomedical measurements so here i just wanted to give you a short uh, you know brief idea about what we are going to discuss for blood pressure uh, various uh, transducers are used strain gauge can be used microphone based on kotkov sounds what are kotkov sounds we will discuss that i don't want to confuse you right now piezoelectric transducers can be used for measurement of blood pressure then blood flow uh, rate in the body it, it is measured with the help of electromagnetic flow meter ultrasonic uh, doppler flow meter also laser doppler flow meter is also used respiration rate is measured with the help of thermistor strain gauge pressure sensor carbon dioxide detector so all of this is used for respiration rate then for body temperature rtd thermistor thermocouple they are all 
used because they are essentially temperature sensors. Okay, so these are some of the basic concepts related to physiological transducers which we have discussed. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a good idea uh, in a quick way what uh, transducers are. We all know how they are used for biomedical measurement the basic concept so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much